I can't wait to put my characters through excruciating pain and turmoil. Oh, why won't you sing? Hello from my greenhouse. I won. I managed to not only pass my goal, but double it. Hello, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm also doing well. It is Camp NaNoWriMo time. It is July, it is currently the 2nd of July. And as usual, I'm participating in Camp NaNoWriMo. This year, I decided to really focus on trying to get through the draft that I've been working on since the beginning of the year. I'm currently at around 37,000 words and I set my goal to 15,000. But honestly, as much as I can get done of this draft, the better because even though that would take me over 50k, this book will not be done at 50k as they it never is. <laughs> it always takes around 80k, 90k for a book like this. If you don't know, in Camp NaNoWriMo you can set your own goals. Usually in November when the official National Novel Writing Month is, the goal is to write 50,000 words. But in April and July when there's Camp NaNo you can kind of set your own goals, you can edit, you can do whatever you want. But like I said, I want to get through this first draft of this other book that I'm writing. I originally planned on filming clips of Camp Nano to put in my other writing progress vlog, but those I don't want to put out for a while and I have reasons for that. <laughs> you will figure out the reasons later. But just so you know, don't worry, more writing vlogs, writing progress vlogs are coming. However, I just thought why not just make a Camp Nano vlog on its own and so I can actually upload this once it's done instead of having to wait for the other vlogs. Hopefully I can get over 50,000 words this month, but I still have all the stuff I need to do for Hunting Vienna, which like I said, will be in some separate vlogs kind of dedicated to the progress on that. Um, so that's why I, I kind of feel like it's it makes sense to split these up because I want to keep most of the Hunting Vienna stuff in, in its own thing. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go work. Bye. Oh my Lord. It is pouring. I don't know if you can hear or see that, but it is pouring rain outside. And you know, the funny thing is, as I'm writing, I'm listening to this library sound, ambient soundscape, but now I don't need it because I have real life ambient rain sound. Nice. <laughs> Morning. It is seven in the morning. <clears throat> you can probably tell by my voice. <laughs> and I'm doing the thing where on the days when I'm working from home anyway, I just want to wake up a little earlier and work on my book before my day job. Makes sense because I kind of wake up earlier anyway. These days I've been having this kind of just it's a one shot of espresso with a lot of ice and a bit of milk. That's enough to get me through <laughs> the morning. Yes, yesterday I got to 38,550. So I wrote about a thousand and a bit words, which was fine. So let's see how much I can get done in this little morning writing session. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hello, just checking in because I realized I haven't updated the vlog in a, in a little bit. It is 14th of July, so about halfway through the month, halfway through Nano, and I've passed 10,000 words written of my goal of 15,000 at least. Actually, it's more than that, it's 11,278 as of right now which is super nice and I'll definitely pass the 15k either tomorrow or the day after that. But like I said, I want to write as much as I can because this draft is definitely not going to be done at 50,000 words. <laughs> Actually, I'm around halfway through the story, like through the outline that I made for it. So I expect to end around between 70,000 to 80,000 words. So that's kind of my projection, I, I guess, for the draft. And I just want to keep writing. Obviously, as much as I get done during Nano, great, but I'll, I'll keep writing even after that. Um, just so I can finish this draft finally, because I just realized what I said a few clips ago, that I started writing the draft at the beginning of this year. Draft that I've been working on since the beginning of the year. Beginning of the year. That was a lie. It was the beginning of last year. <laughs> I honestly can't believe sometimes how fast time flies and I get things mixed up in my head sometimes. And I, I had a, a bit of a brain fart there when I realized I actually started writing this last January, not this January. <laughs> so yeah, I, I really want to get through it and finish this draft because I really really like this book but I'm also a bit sick right now which doesn't help because I'm just a little slower than usual but still uh, trucking along and will definitely finish my goal the 15k soon but I'll update you when I get there. I wrote 1391 words so far this morning and I think I might even write a bit more today. So as you saw in the previous clip, <laughs> I managed to get to 50,000 words on this draft. Now remember I started at around 36,000, so it's not like I wrote 50,000 words. I wrote 13,000 words so far this month and it's the half, we're halfway through the month. Let's say I get another 13,000 words down, that would mean 26,000 words, which would put the manuscript at 66,000 words. Cam Nano is a nice way to motivate myself to start writing on the regular again, but I definitely just want to keep going after that until I get to the end of the draft. <laughs> and yesterday I had the highest word count of one day so far. I think I wrote about 1,700 something words, which is, you know, probably not a lot to most of you, but for me, 
I average between a thousand and two thousand words written a day. That's kind of what I can usually write. Two thousand is on the higher end, so one thousand seven hundred is like really good. So something annoying that happens when you write in Scrivener and you have Scrivener on multiple computers and multiple versions of Scrivener. I have both the Mac and the Windows version and I write, you know, whatever computer I'm at. But syncing between them sometimes can be very annoying. So I have to figure out where my latest version is and why I'm not getting the latest version. So it still says I have 47,000 words, which is not true. I have 50,000 words. Yeah, so see here on my computer, it's correct. It's at 50,000 words. But for some reason, it's not been updated in the cloud. Okay, I think I sorted it out. And hopefully I have 50,000 words now when I open the file again on my Mac. Nope. <laughs> it's the same project synced through Google. Docs, because I switch between them, sometimes things mess up and you can lose your work. I have not yet lost my work because Scrivener also is pretty good at sort of recovering files. So what happened right now is it looked like I lost about 3000 words. However, they were in a different folder called recovered files. So I managed to get the words back. However, I'm not entirely sure why that happened. Maybe because I was switching between them. Um, but this is what can happen sometimes and it can be very frustrating and scary. You don't want to lose your work. It's very hard to, to write those words back, especially when you know, it's more like a mental thing, especially when you know you've already written those scenes. Oh, why won't you sing? Update, I'm back at my PC where I actually have the latest files. I just gave up. I was just trying to like change the, the scenery a little bit and, and write in a different room because sometimes that helps but like it, sometimes technology is just not my friend so i have the right files here so i'm just going to write here something that i've been doing with this manuscript that has been different but has been very very helpful is i always start the chapter kind of describing what i want to happen in that scene or chapter now i already have a pretty detailed outline but you know sometimes things change and this is like it kind of goes even even more detailed on a scene by scene basis what am i going to write essentially in this scene or in this session and it's been super helpful especially when i finished a chapter or scene and then i just start a new file and i leave kind of that note for myself for tomorrow so that when I sit down to write the next scene, I don't have to spend time thinking about what I'm going to write. It's, it's right there. I just have to kind of write out whatever I've written in a note there. And it's been super, super helpful. So just a little tip, maybe you want to incorporate that into your own writing. And I think it really, it, it definitely really helps me. So it might work for you too. So yes, I officially passed my goal of NaNoWriMo, which was to write 15,000 words. And right now I am at 16,201, which means I passed my NaNoWriMo goal. And that in camp NaNoWriMo terms makes me a winner. <laughs> so, woo. however, yeah, like I said, I will keep writing. Actually, today I wrote the most out of all the days. I wrote 2,432 words, which is a lot for me. Like I said, I usually average between 1,500 and 2,000, and I rarely hit the 2,000, so it's really good. But I'm also on vacation this week, which will help a lot with this. Um, and yeah, I mean, I still have essentially two more weeks almost of this, so I can definitely go through a lot and uh, 
I'm not gonna say finish the draft this month because like I said, I think it will need quite more uh, words to get to the end, but I'm, I'm very excited, I'm very happy. I wrote almost every day so far and I'll keep doing that and it's just been great and it's it's been great to get back into that habit of waking up and wanting to write every single day. That I think is the most important thing that I've done with this Camp NaNoWriMo and was the reason why I wanted to participate again anyway, to get back into that habit of writing every day. And I have, and it's great. Yes. Hello from my greenhouse office. Today we're working from here, just because. So since I passed my goal of 50k, I actually changed it to 70,000 words now in Scrivener, just because. I think it'll take at least 70,000 words for this draft to be complete, so that's my new kind of target in Scrivener. And I'm at 55,000 now. Just a little update, I passed 20,000 words written so far this month, and I wrote 1,958 words today. So not quite 2,000, but I have to stop now and do something else. And almost 2,000, which is also good. And I'm at 57,700 words in total. So really good. And I still have like 11 days or something in this month, so. Good morning. <laughs> this morning was very productive. I wrote 2,400 words. I think that's the most I've written so far this month in one day, from what I remember. And more excitingly, I've passed 60,000 words on this draft, which is awesome. And I still have, what, 10 more days to go, so I think I'll definitely get to 70,000 words this month. This morning, I really loved what I wrote. I think it's probably the most ridiculous <laughs> scene or like chain of events I've written in a while, but I loved every second of writing it. It's just... Like, it's so silly and so fun. So I'm, I, I really enjoyed that and I think it's gonna turn out really well once it's all, you know, edited and polished and whatnot. I also wanted to show you that I've been reading this book, Write, Publish, Repeat, uh, by these people here. And I'm about halfway through that and this is also really good. A lot of stuff, of course, I, I already know, but it's just, uh, this kind of stuff is really nice to read and kind of inspiring and motivating i guess and there's definitely some some tidbits in here that i haven't thought about before so i think it's definitely a, a nice writing resource book specifically if you want to indie publish your books or just kind of think a bit more about marketing your own work so even if you're traditionally published this goes a lot into how to market uh, your books and yourself as an author um, which, I, of course, I think is valuable for any author, regardless of you being traditionally or indie published. So This r morning writing routine has been so nice. Of course, I've, I've also been on vacation some of these days, so it helps when you have more time in the morning. But I don't know, it just works really well for me right now to get up, be excited about sitting down and working on this book and getting at least a thousand words down, sometimes more early in the morning before I do anything else. It's just, it feels really nice. And then I can go about my day knowing that I've already done that work. And it just, I don't know, it feels good. I recommend you give it a try if you haven't before and see if it, if it works for you. Good morning. This morning I'm at 66,000 words written on this manuscript and I'm getting very close to getting to the final act. Not quite there yet, but very close. Definitely hitting 70k, I think. 
<laughs> this month, which is actually pretty crazy because that's double the the amount I was planning on writing or I thought I was going to write. So I'm nearing 30,000 words written, which is pretty, pretty crazy. So, um, I've, I've written more than that in a month. I've actually written 50,000 words, I think more than 50,000 words a few times. So I know it's definitely possible, but obviously it just depends so much on what's going on in the book that you're writing and everything. Still, I'm really happy that I managed to do so much and I still have a few days left of this month. So let's see. And I'm still really, really enjoying it. And I can't wait to get to the final act and write that part because things are about to go very, very wrong. And that's fun to me. <laughs> so I can't wait to put my characters through excruciating pain and turmoil. Hello. It is another rainy day here in Denmark in the summer. It is also last day of July, so it's the last day of Camp NaNoWriMo. And to recap, my goal this month was to write 15,000 words. And I set it that low for a few reasons. One, because I didn't want to pressure myself too much. And also because I hadn't been writing consistently for a long time. I had been writing, but very inconsistently. So my main kind of goal with this was just to kind of get back into a daily or almost daily routine of writing, no matter how many words that was. I think I've said this before, but when you are writing consistently, your writing is just better because you're more, you know, into your story. Instead of writing once every month, where you spend most of that time trying to get back into the world and into the minds of your characters, when you're writing on a consistent basis, you don't have to spend that time and you're already there. And you're also able to come up with more ideas. And it's just, for me at least, it just works a lot better. So I wanted to use this opportunity to get back into that routine. And thankfully I did. And if I look at my NaNoWriMo stats, I wrote almost every day. There were days when I didn't write at all. And one day when I did write, but I forgot to actually check in to NaNoWriMo. And unfortunately I can't like add words um, retroactively. But in total, I think there was like actually seven days when I didn't write throughout the month of July. And yet, I managed to not only pass my goal of 15,000 words, but double it. <laughs> I wrote, as of right now, 32,963 words, so almost 33,000 words, so that's more than double my original goal. And I got to 70,000 words on this manuscript which I'm really, really happy about. So I would say this was a very successful Camp NaNoWriMo for me. I'm still not done with this book. I am not even at the third act just yet. I'm just about to start writing the third act. My third acts are usually shorter, like they're the shortest length of any of the acts. They tend to go by, you know, a lot faster. But I would still estimate that this book needs about 10,000 more words to be done. I will keep writing in the month of August and I'm sure I will finish it in the month of August. And to me, there's nothing better than finishing a book, finishing and then getting a proof copy of the completed manuscript, even though it's a first draft, even though it's going to be completely rewritten, you know, almost in, the, in its entirety and polished up and whatnot. But just having that completed book, I don't know why, it's like the thing that pushes me the most to keep writing. Because I have so many ideas and so many books that I want to write, but anyone can have that. It's when you actually sit down and do the work and then finish things that I feel the most motivated to keep going and to write even more books. I guess because I proved to myself that, you know, I can actually do it, that I can actually finish books. So then I want to do more because I have so many ideas that I want to do another one and another one and another one. But anyway, I think I will end this Camp Nano 
vlog of 2023 here. Let me know if you participated in Camp NaNoWriMo this month. How did you do? What was your goal? How much did you write? Or what else did you work on during this month? And if you didn't participate in Camp Nano, just let me know whatever project you're working on, how that's going, because I would love to know. Yeah, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time in a new video. Bye.